I am in eastern Wisconsin and this is where a lot of the dairy cows are. The cows that make the good Wisconsin cheese. I pass up lots and lots of farms like this and I just wanted to share some. I think it's amazing but now I'm off to Lake Michigan. The first thing I see is a seagull. very many of those for a few months now. We've got a fossil. Oh, I love the colors on this fossil. Oh. I love all that orange yellow. Ooh, such a pretty one. I really do love this one. Might be a porphyry. Quartz inside. A little porphyry. Let's take that one too. I'm pretty sure this is another <laughs> sponge fossil. If there's like pillars going up and down in these horizontal lines, then it's definitely a sponge fossil. And this other one here. I grabbed this one because the blue. How much bluer can it be? It's like blue like the sky. I love this one. I like the blue. I wonder if it's going to look blue when it's dry. If it looks blue when it's dry, it'll be a great piece for the rock garden. It'll stand out from the other mostly red ones, you know. I'm going to walk slow to find a stuff. Red. Probably just granite. It's pretty though, isn't it? Blue. That's pretty cool too. Hmm. Huh. That's neat. Bucket. Oh. I could just grab tons here. There's just so much. I don't know. They're really popping out today, you guys. I usually don't stop this often because I don't see enough to want to stop. I see a lot of dark red. Yeah, very dark. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tumble that red one and see what happens. Keep going. Oh, so it's a beautiful day. Ooh. Quartz ball. Quartz are quartzite. I'm just sitting here pulling rocks. Getting rocks and looking at them from right here all dry so i just keep dipping them and looking at them and yeah this looks like a sandstone feels like one too i think it's pretty but i don't think it'll tumble because it's a sandstone it'll just disintegrate in the tumbler and i found this one and yeah it's really unique i never found a blue green with orange dots in it so yeah i'm definitely gonna take it and i'll probably tumble it see how it turns out it's a keeper now I just found this big quartz one. Um, ooh, it's really pretty. Wow. I'm definitely going to keep this. I like the look of it very much so. It's pretty. Uh, it's got a lot of limonite staining right there. That yellow gold color is a limonite staining and that comes from the iron. Yeah, I just like this one. It's a keeper. And then this here looks like it could be a fossil. It's hard to tell when they're dry. It's just so weird how you can't tell what they are when they're dry. That's why I always have a bucket of water and dip them and look at that. It's just beautiful. They just are so pretty when you dip them. This is a big reason why I tumble my rocks because when you tumble the rocks they stay this wet look and they're just beautiful. <laughs> they're just way different than just sitting there dry. And this is definitely some sort of maybe sponge fossil. But I do like it, but I'm kind of like, should I take it? I have so many. We'll see. <laughs> it's in my bucket. I'm probably going to go. Why don't you take home another one? <laughs> it looks like, ooh. Wow, is it ever sparkly? Maybe there's mica in here? That would be my guess. Wow. It's just really sparkly, you guys. It feels kind of light. <sighs> it's 
pretty cool. Let's see. Let's see if that sparkle. Ooh, just look at that. Wow. I don't know what that is. It's got to have mica in it. I don't know. One more pile. Check out one more pile. I gotta go. Quartzite? Here we got another little fossil. I believe it is another sponge fossil. Most likely it's a keeper. It's a pretty little one. What do we got here? Ooh, this is looking really... Nope, this is really beach worn. I don't keep those. You can't really see the fossil too well. Um, yeah. Ugh, here's another one. See? Beach worn. They're really hard to see, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> I put it back. Uh, hoping to find a nice one on my way out of here, but doesn't always happen. And ooh, wait a second, what is that? Gosh, that's an amazing honeycomb. Wow, coral fossil, honeycomb coral fossil, and it's such a pretty one. Wow, we uh. Ooh, I love it. Ooh, some people call them Pavocites. I think in Lower Michigan, they call them Charlebor, possibly. I'm from Upper Michigan, so we find them. We call them Pavocites or Honeycomb Coral Fossil. And how they got three different names is beyond me. But this one, wow. All I know is it's a definite keeper. I really like the contrasting colors of the little honeycomb shapes. And yeah, it is going home with me. Well, that one made my day. Most definitely. Absolutely beautiful. Well, as always, thanks a lot for coming along with me and watching my video. And have a great day. Bye-bye.